Okay, first and foremost, we look at the structure which is over here. The structure which is over here, uh, and that is referred to as the liver. There we have the liver, so I might just have to give it a little bit more of an incision at the top there to expose that. There we go. Uh, what we can see over here is a tri-lobed liver. So we've got one over here the second in the middle there, and the third, which is situated on this side over here. Um, at first glance, we can see these structures over here, and these structures are referred to as fat. Just below there, we can see... This structure over here, and this structure is referred to as the stomach. And below the stomach, we have, well, just below the stomach, we have this kind of substance over here. And this over here is referred to as the small intestine. Um, this kind of, uh, just a little bit. When I take them out individually, you'll be able to see this in a little bit more detail. So we've got the small intestine, which is situated over here. Now, the small intestine has got a lot of, it's all kind of uh, attached together by a thin membrane. And that membrane we refer to as the mystorine membrane, which just kind of keeps hold of the small intestine in place and together. Um, and if I just take this out first of all, it might make it easier to get into the structures. So if we just extract out the, the liver, because it's in the way. Let's be specific. Okay, so there's the first lobe of liver. And we've got the second lobe of liver here. Okay, there's a second lobe. And the third lobe of liver is just here. Now we've got a green substance which is over here as well. Um, if I can just uh, lift that so you can see that play that green substance there. We refer that as the gall bladder. Okay, the gall bladder is, is the green substance here, which contains bile substance. Uh, which emulsifies the fats, i.e. breaking down the fats into smaller molecules and therefore allowing the enzyme lipase to act on the fats to break that down into even smaller parts. So ideally, the bile is breaking down the fat to increase the surface area of the fat molecule to allow the enzyme lipase to act on it. And it has a similar function to what we have in the human body. Um, so we can just have a look at this here. And there is our bio, which we just extracted out there, yeah? Okay. You can see it is like a greeny substance. Yeah? And the liver's not too different to, to in colour to ours as well. 
Um, this bit six months of the good. And you can see there is probably where the just that bit there is where the small uh, um, the gallbladder was attached because it's green. Okay, it's green pigment there situated. Okay. And this obviously your liver made up of hepatocytes, specific type of cells that are within there. Okay. The next bit we want to have a look at is the is this bit over here, which is the stomach. Now, the stomach will have two connections on it. It's got a first connection, which is over here, and a second connection, which is over here. The first connection is via what we call the esophagus. The esophagus comes down here, and then your... Uh, Stomach has a specific kind of spincher there, a muscle, which opens and closes to allow the food to come through there. And that spincher muscle is referred to as the car cardiac orifice. Opens, food goes down into the stomach, closes, food is then digested. But on the other side of the stomach, there's another spincher, which is linked to the small intestine. And that is referred to as a pyloric spincher. So when food comes down the first bit, opens, food enters the stomach, starts to do the digestive process, pyloric spincher will open, food will then enter the small intestine, and therefore the next phases of digestion will begin. Um, so if we just have a look at these spincters, it may be a bit difficult to kind of have a look at this, but we'll see what we can do. Um, here we go. Okay, so you can see that I've just I've just taken that and I've uh, dissected the esophagus from it, and that's where your cardiac orifice will be, your cardiac spinster. And then on the other side, which is attached to the small intestine over here, the pyloric spinster, which is situated here, just about there. So as I take this off from here, you should be able to have a look at that. And there's the uh, pyloric spinster. So. When that opens, food enters stomach, digestion takes place primarily, obviously in human beings, we get um, protein digestion taking place, and then once protein digestion is taking place, stomach churns the food, opens up the pyloric spinster, food leaves the pyloric spinster, enters the next phase of digestion, which is in the small intestine, which is situated over here. I'll just uh, give this a little bit of a... Okay, from there we now move on and have a look at this over here. So we've got a lot of this membrane, the mycerin membrane, yeah? That is, a lot of this membrane is attached onto this here. So if we can just remove this membrane here. Small intestine. Careful when you are taking this out because because uh, it can kind of snap easily um, and then obviously it can rebound. So a small intestine with majority of the digestive absorption, digestion begins and absorption takes place. So small molecules such as amino acids uh, from protein digestion, from uh, glucose from carbohydrate digestion, fatty acids and glycerol from fat digestion or triglyceride digestion will be absorbed within the small intestine 
once it's absorbed in the small intestine, put into the blood, the body, therefore then put to use, and therefore uh, the frog will utilize that as part of its nutrients. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll just have a look at this. There's this bit over here. Okay, we've got a small intestine. Now let's have a look further. Now this does look like a male, uh, and the reason for that is because in females, what we tend to have is a, either a lot of black dots situated everywhere, and they're referred to as mature eggs, or white dots, which are referred to as uh, immature eggs. Okay, but you can't see them in here, and therefore, most likely, it will be a a male on, on this side over here. Okay, so this over here, we've got some fat. I'll just take this out. And the kidneys are just situated at the back of the frog, which are right at the back over here. 